Think of all the ways you could possibly get a girl with your humor, your charm, your looks. Now think about if your personality was being a nice guy. Yes, that's what we're doing today. Someone told me to look at this thread. If there's anything I like more than a good game or anything, it's cringe. I love cringe. I love it. Do you know about nice guys? Quote unquote nice guys. Let me give you the rundown real quick. Nice guys are people. That's the main personality trait. They're nice guys. But if you know anything about these nice guys, they're just doing this to manipulate you. They're not really nice. People that are nice, they're just nice. Take a shot every time I say nice, but these people, they're nice in order to get something out of you. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you don't give them what they want, they will show their true colors, all right? Here's an example. Said, hope you're well. Thank you, hope you are too. Well, gotta say, wasn't thrilled at how you stopped talking to me and threatened me and treated me. You went full 180 on me. That's one paragraph. <laughs> but better in the long run. This is one need to know it sucked and I did nothing to deserve that from you. First of all, we don't know nothing about these people. It seems like they were friends. And then, let's just see what she says. You're still hung up on this? I set a boundary with you. Someone I just met. I don't have to talk to you. I don't owe you my time. We have no commitment to each other. Oh. <laughs> so he was hitting on her. She said no, basically. And then he said bravo for showing your age. No, I'm dating someone else. But just talked uh, about people we've dated, flirted with. And I was just like, she does this to me. She does it to everyone. So why not tell her she so she's aware? I'm a good man. Don't need to be talked down to. Especially by you. You're right. As you owe me nothing but respect, I give it to you. Peace out, kid. This is very weird. First of all. Why are you texting a kid if she's a kid? <laughs> she says, I don't think you know me well enough to know how I treat everyone. We never dated and ultimately we hurt. We hardly know each other. You should just focus on your new partner. I wish you the best. This is, is that it? So basically, if you get the gist of that, he's being a good guy and she says no. But what does he do? He talks down to her, demeans her, the likes of you, kid. Oh my God, this one looks unhinged. Your road is too slow. Mine is too fast. What? I thought we could meet somewhere in the middle. I adore you, but I, she didn't reply. This is a new day now. You are honest. Nothing about you is believable. I don't. What the fuck is wrong with you? Trauma, maybe? You're nuts. Someone offer you happiness and you won't accept it. <laughs> I'm not getting happiness from this. I'm getting serial killer. I'm getting Joe from you. I'm getting stalker. Talking about rolling and shit. You rolled a fucking uh, 20 in creepy weirdo in D&D, bro. Who has time for this kind of bullshit? Apparently you with all these fucking texts. I don't. Oh. I'm enamored by you. I do like you. But you're way too hung up on yourself. Very selfish. I just can't with selfish people, bro. Sucks for you. You will never be happy. That's obvious to me. Good luck. She said, keep playing the victim. You'll find that doesn't get you far. Scroll back. Look at how many questions you asked me. How much you know about me. I am not the least bit insulted by your rant. You do not know me. Therefore, you cannot insult me. If it makes you feel better, go ahead. I've dealt with worse. None of which you have inquired about while you whine instantly about your daily struggle. I wish you the best and someone, uh, oh my god, I can't fucking read. I wish you the best and a someone who can com commiserate. I choose to rise above and celebrate. Oh my god, she's dropping bars on you. What the fuck? How many questions did you ask about me? Damn it. I'm so weak. I had no intentions to come back late, to come crawling back to you and seek forgiveness. But my brain will not forget about you. So, fuck, man. It's like a spell has been casted over me. I purposely deny myself happiness. Why do I do that? Oh my god, he's talking like a fucking anime character has a thought bubble in the head. Oh my god. He definitely has figurines. It keeps going. You are not too busy for me. I bet you have responded to emails and texts today. That's my point. You are never going to be happy because you won't allow a man to love you. That sucks so badly for you. Grow old alone. 
That's obviously what you want. Enjoy the fuck of being alone. So dumb. I have just moved on. It's not that hard for me to attract women. Never has been. But you act like, oh my god, that's Cap. Look at this. He says, first of all, it's, why do you want to be so alone so bad? she probably find someone else tomorrow. She don't want you, bro. Leave her alone. And then she says, he says, it's not hard for me to attract a woman, bro. But this time of texting, you sound very desperate. You sound very lonely. You sound like you got a lot of time on your hands. We can see through this. He says, but you act like you're God's gift to this world. Way too much effort for me. LOL. Good luck with that. Shit. Too much effort, bro. You just typed in a fucking essay. Bro. She didn't respond for an hour and you're about to fucking... Oh my god. Cool shooter vibes right here. I love this. I wish I found this shit sooner. Found another one. Fuck. It's gonna be back problems. This one's on Instagram. It goes down in the DMs. It's blank. I just want to sort shit out. I don't want any issues. I know I was immature as fuck about that party. And I'm sorry. So something happened at a party. What happened? It was your party. And I understand. Now sometimes things don't process for me in the moment. Tism? I don't know. I think we really should talk and get rid of these hard feelings that we clearly have for each other. I just want shit to be at least neutral. I want to see the new blank been talking about, I guess. I don't know. Nothing. So, bro, he didn't even, if time passes, see how it says 1010 right here? He didn't let any time pass. Nothing? Question mark. Bro, people, people sometimes, guess what? People are busy sometimes. Even if my phone's on me, I'm not going to reply to my text immediately sometimes. If you're spamming me like this, this is the fastest way to never have me talk to you again. I'm sorry. So he says, nothing, question mark. So it's clear you don't want to try, I guess. Question mark. Hello? Can you say something? April 22nd, 10, 10 p.m. Do you even care? <laughs> April 23rd, 12.06. You're fucked up for not saying anything, man. I'm just trying to fix shit and you're simply showing you don't care. Feel stuck in the middle of... Wait, is it, what did she say? Blank feels stuck in the middle and she doesn't know what to fucking do. You're putting her in an uncomfortable spot by not responding when I'm trying to fix shit. Blank. Silence is only going to cause more problems in the long run. Give up fast. I have little patience. <laughs> Oh, this is what happens when the anime kid goes to the party for the first time. Oh my god. I'm I'm my patience. Bro, this is the Redditor's final boss right here. He says, I know you are active. You can open my messages. Don't be shy. Nice job. Digging your grave deeper. What the fuck are you gonna do to her? Digging your grave deeper is crazy. That's like, don't come to school tomorrow. What the fuck? Alright, he says. Hey, buddy, you don't need a restraining order. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anyways. You don't need to restrain me from something. I don't want anything to do with, lol. You sure did a good job giving me the, this chance because blank can really see how genuine you are with your fake ass lies. Saying how you want to hang out with both at some point, but you don't give a fuck. Both of us at some point, we don't give a fuck. Nice job burning more bridges. You tend to be good at that. God damn, bro. She didn't reply once. This dude just had a conversation with himself. I hope y'all notice this. He was saying things and replying to himself the entire time. She didn't have to say a damn thing. Oh my God, I love this. Why didn't I find this shit sooner, bro? How much time are we doing? 12 minutes. I'm gonna do one more and call the vid. All right. Okay, okay. Ready? Hey, I just wanted to apologize straightforward for all. This is a common theme. They're all apologizing. And the other person is never replying. <laughs> and this is what happens. When someone's desperate, they start talking to a girl, right? And they fall in love with this girl without even knowing jack shit about her. And then the girl shows no interest. But the dude's already fell in love. This is his only hope. So he's gonna spam, spam. It just comes off the desperate, bro. It's the fastest way to get, you know, I don't know. Not even friend zone, just not talk to again. Just blocked. He's a nice guy, you know? <laughs> hey, I just wanted to apologize straightforward. I'm trying to find my voice. I should really like, hey, I'm just wanting to apologize straightforward for all the bullshit I have put you through, okay? I'm just a threat. 
I made, and I'm sorry that I made the distance between you and Blank further than it has ever been. I think we can all admit we are all in the wrong in some aspects. Oh, so you're not really saying sorry. Okay. And foul shit has been said and done between us. But I just want you to know that it isn't permanently how I'm going to see you. I have tried to take everything from the past and just toss it behind me a little while ago. This is the longest run on sins ever. I reached the point where I don't think about the things that once bothered me. This dude went to fucking therapy over this. He's talking like he went to therapy, bro. She said, I don't mean to be rude, but I think it's best for all of us to move. Uh, for all of us, if you don't come to my 420 party tomorrow, I don't think myself or my homies are ready. And I know there will be unnecessary conflict and I'd like to avoid that. Thanks for understanding and sorry. He says, I'm sorry, but the invite says leave the drama at home. I'm going. Oh my god. It is a public place. I'm going to be there. If it was the house party, then I'd understand. Oh my god. Bro. So weird. Don't go to school tomorrow vibes. School threat vibes. He says, but it's not. Not trying to start shit. I have no reason to talk to any of them. I will pretend they aren't there. Just know if they start something, I will protect myself. This is the kid that when I get angry, I just see red. Don't get on my bad side. That's him right there. I just black out. I'm scared of myself sometimes. It says, it's my party. I'm asking you not to come. It's really disrespectful for you to pull up. And if you don't, wait, and if you do, you will be not, you'll be kicked out. I'm sorry. You owe me one after what you did. Um, so you can't just pull this night before after telling blank that i can go until blank comes okay redacted they redacted to blank so i'm going kick me out and see what happens leave the beef at home i have hella friends going let me enjoy my 420 in peace and stay home and smoke some weed bruh she said she's replying to you can't pull this the night before she says i did not say that ever i said blank i mean adapted could come and that was it this is my party. I put the effort into this. I am setting boundaries and you're being beyond disrespectful. It's fair. He said, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. I know what I said. This is my party and you are not coming. It's that simple, bitch. He said, but if you want to stop me from going, I can pull the same card you put on me. Oh, what's this card? Hey. She's replying to the first message, the apology. She says, this apology did not mean anything to you, then did it. You are being disrespectful. Wait, you are disrespecting my boundaries and I will not tolerate that. He says, I do apologize, but if you want to disrespect my boundaries from allowing me to come to a party that's on everyone's story. She said, I am asking you politely to not show up for this your safety and for my own goddamn sake damn okay okay turning she's changing he says i don't fuck with that at all she says it's literally my fucking party bitch he says i don't care who posted it i'm the host he says it's a public place if you want to control who comes have a party in the house um, redacted ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> if you want to play stupid games, you can win some stupid prizes. Leave the beef at home in quotations. If I go, I will leave the beef at home. If you don't let me, I'll send more problems. Skull emoji. Snitches get okay. <laughs> what is he fucking third raid? Me and redacted are a package deal. If I'm not coming, she's not going. Wow, this shit is so cringe, bruh. That wasn't really a nice guy story. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was just weird. Um. Anyway, guys, like the fucking video.